consider the following claim. Schlotzky's is a Mexican restaurant, or El Mercado is a Mexican restaurant, or McDonald's is a Mexican restaurant, or Torchy's is a Mexican restaurant, or Oasis is, or Taco Shack is, or Mighty Bird is, or Cooper's is, and so forth. We could make the claim that somewhere there is a Mexican restaurant by writing a very long disjunction, such as this. This claim is true only in case at least one of the disjuncts is true. In other words, exactly in case there is a Mexican restaurant. Quantified logic gives us a better way to say this. There exists a Mexican restaurant. Now consider another claim. Miss Pris is a mammal, and Jerry is a mammal, and Lucy is a mammal, and so is Agnes, and so is Gretel, and so is Bertie, and Tommy, and Katie, and Lily, and Mickey, and Hansel, and Choco, and Lola, and Gabe, and Dizzy, and Getz, and Heidi, and so forth. We could make the claim that all of the world's cats are mammals by writing a very long conjunction such as this. This claim is true only in case all of the conjuncts are true. But quantified logic again gives us a much better way. We can write, for all x, if x is a cat, then x is a mammal. The quantified expressions that we've just written are better than the large disjunction and conjunction in several important ways. First, and most obviously, they're a lot more concise. They're also much easier to maintain. So for example, as new cats appear, we don't have to go back and add an explicit mention of each of them. Also, we can write them when we know the generalization, but we don't actually know enough to write out all the options. For example, we can assert that every state has a capital without actually being able to write down all 50 individual claims about state capitals. And for much the same reason, namely that they capture a useful generalization, they provide more insight into the world we're trying to describe. Consider the claim that all cats are mammals. Well, that's part of a larger set of claims about the animal kingdom. By definition of the categories, it isn't possible to be a cat and not be a mammal. Of course, there's a finite number of cats and of restaurants. So in those cases, at least it's possible to make our claim without the quantifiers. But what about claims, say, about the natural numbers? For example, we can say that every natural number has a successor, or read exactly, for every x, there exists a y such that y is the successor of x. But now, because there isn't a finite number of natural numbers, we'd never finish if we tried to write our claim as a big conjunction. Without quantifiers, we'd be completely unable to make most of the statements that we need as a basis for mathematics.